I'm going to show you how to make super nutrient agar plates using the still air box from North Spore. Thank you to North Spore for sponsoring this video. I like to use raw honey, potatoes, light malt extract, agar agar powder, and distilled water. First, I slice up the potatoes and add them to a pot of distilled water to boil for 15 minutes. Once the potatoes are soft, the liquid is strained, diluted with distilled water to reach 1000 milliliters, and then poured back into the pot. Next, I weigh out 8 grams of light malt extract and 20 grams of agar agar powder. Once the potato water has warmed back up, I add the powders and stir until dissolved, and then I add 1 tablespoon of honey and stir again. The agar solution is then poured 500 milliliters each into two media bottles, or you can use regular jars if you want. The caps are twisted on but kept a quarter turn loose, and then they are pressure cooked at 15 psi for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes in the pressure cooker, the media bottles are removed and left to cool down until they reach 120 degrees Fahrenheit. While the agar solution is cooling down, I set up the knock box by Norspor. I love how easy it is to set up just using tent poles. All you have to do is slide them into the horizontal slots and it's ready to go. It creates a still air environment where no airborne contaminants can land while you are working inside of it. The most important part is to spray every inch inside the knock box with isopropyl alcohol to make sure it's clean before working. I check the temperature of the agar solution and once it's around 120 degrees Fahrenheit, I start to pour the plates quickly before it solidifies. I pour the plates in stacks of 10 and twirl the bottles in between stacks to make sure the nutrients are distributed evenly in the liquid. Pouring at a temperature right before solidification helps prevent condensation in the petri dishes. The knock box has two arm holes with ties that tighten around your arms and if you're working with large items like substrate, there are convenient zipper openings to bring them in from. After all the plates have been poured, I leave them in the knock box for about 45 minutes until they solidify. The armholes are closed during this time. After the agar plates are solidified, I wrap each one in parafilm. I incubate the plate for 7 days to make sure it's clean, and then I inoculate it with a couple drops from my Lion's Mane Mushroom Liquid Culture Syringe. I'm amazed by the growth of this Lion's Mane Mycelium on these super nutrient agar plates. I love how it looks like little lightning bolts.